excited tell you about it, huh? for this next performer, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the Honorable John Rafferty, retired. my first time on the stage, people have been saying to me, oh, that's nothing. You've been in front of uh, audiences for the last 25 years. I said, yeah, but I was always making them cry before. <laughs> this is a whole new thing. In fact, I have sentenced people to jail cells bigger than this room. Um, I recently, recently retired after 25 years on the bench. Woo! 25. In my final press interview, a woman reporter said, Your Honor, in 25 years, what was your most frequently asked question? I told her, what do you guys really wear under those robes? <laughs> she said, do you have any parting advice for all those attorneys that have appeared before you in 25 years? I said, yeah, keep your briefs clean. <laughs> it's a big change being retired from the bench. Previously, I was always introduced as the distinguished. Now, if I'm introduced at all, it's as the extinguished. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm retired because judges need love too, and they don't get any. They're always imposing fines and stuff. In 25 years, I made so many enemies on the bench that when the presiding judge was asked where he wanted to hold my retirement party, he said, in the closet. <laughs> and we're not sure we're going to be able to fill that. <laughs> you know, when you, when you preside in a high volume courtroom, it is like herding cats. <laughs> All day, every day, starting first thing in the morning. I'd come out on the bench, there'd be 400 people there, talking and laughing. I'd take the bench and I'd say, the court is now in session. They wouldn't shut up. No wonder Judge Judy is always yelling, zip it. Again, I'd say, the court will now come to order. Still, they wouldn't keep quiet. That's when I would put my mouth close to the microphone and say, sax. <laughs> Immediate silence in the whole room. I sure wish I could have had people like you in my court. But all of you look too smart to get caught. <laughs> I was not exactly dealing with the Harvard faculty, you know. <laughs> I would say to the people, folks, an arraignment is a very simple court procedure. If you don't want to go to trial, you have to plead either guilty or no contest, and they're just about identical, except that a no contest plea cannot be used against you when that busload of queens, all dressed like nuns, that you slammed into on Gay Pride, on gay pride Day, sues your ass. But I couldn't get anybody to plead no contest. They would plead no concept. No content. No context, no clue. One guy even pled, no contessa. I said to the bailiff, what does he think, I'm running a freaking brothel here? Hey man, I won my office lottery today, man. Friday night, I'm not taking any of those Amateurs out of Barstow. Oh no, I'm going right for the Contessa herself. <laughs> I 
And one guy appeared before me, and I said, Sir, you are charged with breaking your written promise to appear in court. He said, I didn't know I had to come. I'm from New Jersey. I said to another guy, Sir, you're charged with doing 105 in a 35 mile an hour zone. He said, I'm a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, said to, I said to another guy, sir, you are charged with driving a vehicle with an expired registration. He said, the cop should have said it my grandmother. It was her car. <laughs> and she was in the trunk. <laughs> One guy even asked if his DUI trial could be transferred to Florida. I said, absolutely. I see no reason for the California, the California taxpayers to object to paying the tab for the airfare, lodging, and meals for the entire jury pool of 60 people, the police officer, the lab technician, the judge, the clerk of the court, the interpreter, the court stenographer, the bailiff, the DA, and the public defender. In fact, after the trial, would you like to go to Bermuda? <laughs> would you like first class? Do you do vegetarian? <laughs> I said to one guy, sir, you are on summary probation. He said, does that mean I'm only on probation in the summertime? <laughs> I could not even get any cooperation from the interpreter. One time, she chose the wrong Spanish word for violate. It came out. If you don't complete all your conditions of probation, the judge will rape you. <laughs> you should have seen the look on that little guy's face. <laughs> Every morning, I would tell the people, folks, we have 400 cases on the court's calendar, so the people behind you want to get back to work at some time today. When you hear your name called, would you please step up quickly, move to the front of the courtroom, stand at the podium. First case on the court's calendar is the people versus Joe Lipschitz. Four times I had to call out that man's name before he stood up. <laughs> When he finally did, he proceeded to collect the 14 bags of groceries he had around him, which he fully intended to transport to the front of the court. <laughs> Ever so slowly, he made his way up to the podium. And as he did, I had the innate feeling that he was not only carrying bags of groceries, but bags of neuroses. <laughs> he finally got up to the podium, set down the groceries, rearranged them all, and at some point stood erect, looked me in the eye and said, do you work here? <laughs> I said, sir. I said, sir, I would cite you for contempt, but that would be redundant. <laughs> Is that your true and correct name? Yes, your highness. <laughs> Do you understand the charge? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Do you want a lawyer? No, Your Eminence. <laughs> How do you plead? No consciousness. <laughs> I said, sir, are you sure that's the plea you want to enter? Yes, Your Excellency. I said, may the court correctly assume that by that you meant no contest. He said, yes, your grace. Is there any legal cause why sentence should not now be imposed? No, your holiness. <laughs> Are you ready to be sentenced at this time? Yes, your worship. <laughs> With that, I said, Mr. Lipschitz, you've been extremely courteous to the court. I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> the court's going to suspend your entire fine. Sir, I have no idea how you ever made it to the courthouse this morning. 
The light's gone on, my time is up. So I want each of you to know before I leave that the court finds each and every one of you here tonight not guilty. Judge in a comedy class. <laughs> Judge, it's just a comedy class, Your Honor. <laughs> How great is that, you guys? We just had a retired judge doing stand-up comedy. Not many people can do that. <laughs>